Okay, welcome back to Strength Coach Tutorials. For this tutorial, we're coming back to the workbook that we used in the last lesson, lesson nine, on saving and recalling set and rep ranges. For this tutorial, what I'm going to teach you how to do is create rep ranges and load ranges within the cell. And for this, we're going to use the AND function. So right here, I've written the AND function. And if I type in the cell with quotations, in the quotations, I type this and end it. What it's going to do is put the word this in there as a word. Now, if I want to add more words to this cell, I could easily just type them in the quotations there. But what I also can do is use the end function. When I put an end there, it's going to allow me to join two or more things together. So if I go end and then um, quotation, space, quotation, and then end, and then I put quotation that, and hit yes, it's going to allow me to put this and that in the same cell. So we can use this to our advantage back on our workout sheet here. For instance, I have it set at a 5x5 five five at 75%. If we go to set 1, and maybe we want to make this a range. So we have it look up the V lookup, and that gives us the 5 value. Then if I type minus 1, it's going to give us a value of 4. So if I use the N function here, I can go N, sorry, minus 1, and then I can go N, quotation, dash quotation n and have it look up the same value again so we'll copy the v lookup and type it after that and then instead of minus one let's go plus one we'll go plus one not eleven so now it's turned that five by five to a four by six so if you're someone that likes to program in rep ranges you can change your function this way to have any of your sets automatically turn into a rep range so maybe we got four sets of 15, but instead we got 14 to 16 reps. Or perhaps we got um, sets of 12, but instead we're going to look at 11 to 13. So that gives us the ability to do a rep range. Then if we do the same thing with the weight value, something cool can happen. So we're timesing it by the 75%, and that's represented by the O. So if we take that O, put it in its own bracket, and minus 2.5% off of it, use the end function. So we go N and then quotation, dash, quotation, and then another N, and then we'll copy this M round function and put it after the end because we'll do it twice. And this time we'll do plus 2.5%. Leave that in the cell. We'll shrink it down so we can see what it looks like here. Now we have a rep range. So instead of lifting at 225 pounds, now we've given the athlete or client a range from 220 to 235. So this can give them a little bit more flexibility to work um, at a range that feels more comfortable to them on the day. So give the end function a, a, a try in your own programs and see if it helps uh, your clients progress a little faster. If you're enjoying these videos, please like, subscribe, and share this channel. And I will continue to make videos for you guys. Thank you.